Well, now we want to head to Sugar Land, where police shot and killed a suspected catalytic converter thief. ABC 13's Courtney Carpenter is live outside the apartment complex where all of this took place. And Courtney, we found out that suspect wasn't by himself, right? That's exactly right. Melanie, Sugarland police were called out here to the Imperial Lofts apartment complex last night around 10 o'clock after getting a report that people were inside stealing catalytic converters. Police actually ended up finding one of those suspects down this road here about a half a mile. That's where the shooting took place. This yet another instance where this kind of crime ends with someone losing their life. Maurice Caraway says he woke up to a note on his SUV to call Sugarland police. His one of at least three vehicles targeted by catalytic converter thieves last night at the Imperial Lofts apartment complex. This is going to be an expensive, costly repair. Sugarland police say they got the call that catalytic converter thieves were hitting this apartment complex around 10 o'clock last night. They say when officers drove up behind the suspect's car, they drove off and led them on a short chase before stopping and running into a field. 1032, I think he's laying down in the brush. Guys, be careful. He has a gun. It was in the field where authorities say one of the suspects pulled out a gun and then got shot by an officer. One of our officers had our drone up in the air and was tracking the suspect as he ran through the field. Uh, several officers were in the field as a perimeter was set up. The suspect produced a weapon and the officer returned fire, shooting the suspect. Shots fired, shots fired. The suspect was taken to the hospital where he later died. Police are still working to track down three others involved. I ran downstairs and was just hoping and praying that my truck didn't get hit again. Ray Choppa lives at this complex and is thankful today he wasn't a target again. He shared this video of his catalytic converters being stolen outside of his office here in Sugarland a few weeks ago. I mean, the crime for this is really going up and it's, it's just hopefully it stops soon. Now, police say at this point they have finished searching that field. They're still looking for those three other suspects. Of course, if you know anything, you're asked to call Sugarland Police. Reporting live here in Sugarland, Courtney Carpenter, ABC 13 Eyewitness News. All right, Courtney, thank you so much for that report.